Hey guys, it's Laura Kate. Hey, come with me um, on a shopping trip to Costco. I, I would usually go and buy a few of my organic foods. I was in Austin, Texas at the time, specifically the Pflugerville location. Um, I was shopping and I saw their book table and this was 2020, it was right after the election um, results were posted and Barack Obama had released his book and lo and behold, um, like probably a fourth of all the books uh, that were on this table were uh, Barack Obama's A Promised Land. And I remember walking by it and going, why is that filling table space like in the way that it is? And what is this promotion going on? And what bridge does Jim Senegal have? Later, I found out in research that it's actually on Wikipedia that Jim Senegal, um, unbeknownst to me, I did not know this, uh, has actually hosted Obama several times in his home for fundraisers and different speaking events, um, is apparently tied in politically, as well as affiliated, as well as a, um, I would say, a distributor for Obama in that sense, in that sense. Have I been to one of the Senegal parties? Yes, I have, but it was actually Suzanne Senegal and her husband, uh, McGill. Um, and uh, it was at one of their parties. It, it was uh, a bunch of people from the area out. It was uh, a fun time. It was a beach theme. They had, uh, they had India henna dye as one of the activities. Could that have been a soft-spoken, hey, we have a lot of corruption going on. We need a Mahdi-style Mahdi modification? Possibly, possibly. There were no, there was no one from India there. There was no one from India there. Was Suzanne Senegal's mother or father at this party? No, I didn't see them. I did not see their appearance. I'm not sure that they were invited. Have I ever met Jim Senegal? No, I haven't. I've met his wife, his daughter, and uh, some of his grandkids. Would I be able to recognize Jim Senegal in person if I if I met him? I'm not sure I would. I've, I've never met him personally. Um, I, there's a lot of dupes, a lot of lookalikes. And since I haven't met him personally, I'm not sure I'd be able to tell. I could definitely tell if it was Suzanne Senegal or her mother. I've met them personally and I know them. What do I think about Suzanne Senegal's mother running some type of, uh, crime operation going on in our country. Um, you know, I don't know her well enough. Um, I know that, you know, they, they live in the glory of, of, of having prospered with Costco. Do I believe that they're in some type of trap, um, being, uh, basically possibly blackmailed or possibly, uh, and not legally defined, but as, um, kind of when your hands are tied, I'm not sure. I think Jim Senegal, to be honest, has a lot of leeway. I know he was publishing stuff for Gates and New World Order, specifically with my name in it. Back in, I believe that was 2009, um, I actually, you guys, lo and behold, have that Costco published issuance that came to the Medina, Clyde Hill, Yarra Point, Bellevue area. I got it in my mailbox and I kept it. One of those God things, right? Where you look back through, Mackenzie was advertising herself as the parrot. There was some stuff for Obama. There's a lot of stuff for Gates. And there seemed to be something about uh, Disney going on. What do I think about that? There is a lot of venture capitalists, a lot of business people, a lot of high-end CEOs that have been steering this agenda that has attacked me since 2021. Definitely changed my life. But they've been doing it since 2005. I mean, as far back as I can see, I even predict it's been, it's been longer than that, but there's some head honchos that are controlling some certain things. They need to be ushered out. It could be just like three people. I'm not kidding. It's, it's amazing what these people who have control of like an industry or a media campaign, what they can do. This is Laura Kate.